So Todd is interesting. I met Todd at a post office. That's how we got into a conversation. I told him who I was, and I told him about ATX Web Designs. And he was like, man, I, you know, I need a website. I'm trying to build my business, et cetera. So we built out his website. He wasn't like full time into it. He was kind of doing it part time. He was working a job. So then he contacts me about March of 2016. And he was like, hey, I'm ready to go 100% into it. Of course, going 100% into it, I need like, you know, clients. And he said, I know, you know, marketing and things takes time. He said, but um, is there any way you can give me clients quickly? He was like, if not, I understand. I know things take time. And I said, well, check this out. I said, this is what I want you to do. I said, you got a nice website, extremely nice. Of course, we, we created it. We designed it. I said, go on Nextdoor app. Tell them he lives in Hutto. I said, tell them that you're local, you're a veteran, um, you live here in the community, and you're just reaching out. If anyone needs any lawn care, lawn maintenance services, um, let me know. Well, he put his website link. That exact same day he did it, he got four clients that exact same day. That was in March of 2016. Here we are in October of 2017, and that app still worked for him. People give him so many great reviews and whatnot. Um, took him from being a one-man team to, I think he has like a, a crew of eight or ten, something like that now. Just taking him from point A to B to C and, and just keep going was extremely inspiring. And of course, creating just that stability for his family and doing everything, it was just inspiring. It was, it was inspiring all within itself. Yeah, okay. let's take a ride. Let's ride. <sighs> Here we go. Well, initially, where it all started was on Sunrise. Um, and that was before the military, the whole nine. Uh, my roots are from, from Colleen and uh, graduated high school out of Harker Heights. And um, yeah, I ended up moving to the Austin area. Uh, a little bit better economy down this way and end up deciding to join the military here out of Round Rock. I joined in Georgetown. It's a place up there, Wolf Ranch mm -hmm. uh, Recruiting Center, and that's where I joined that man. And I went off, like I say, uh, I went off to basic training from here, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Uh, man, hey, that place is a whole nother ball game. You talk about hot and humid man and i was there in the summertime just sucking big time man and uh when when i end up getting stationed at fort lewis my wife and kids uh was we made a mutual decision that you know they will stay here mm -hmm. and so long story short when when, when i get stationed I, I come back from afghanistan and i come down on orders for fort hood and that was just like the perfect thing, man. I'm like, okay, I'm getting back home, getting stationed here. Um, we're rocking and rolling. And man, we have so much time off and, you know, I just getting bored. And I said, you know, I really, I really been thinking about this lawn and landscaping here because it's something that I always done. Yeah. I've done it for, you know, the past 15, 16 years. And I said, okay, uh, my family's expanding. Um, I had to make something shake. And that's when I came up with the fact that I'm gonna do lawn and landscaping, but I had no equipment. <laughs> While I was gone, I, had, I was paying a guy, real great, great guy. I was paying him to, uh, to t take care of my, our house in, in, um, in Round Rock. And so when I got home, I said, no, I'm not footing this bill. And, I'm ready to get rocking and rolling. So that's when I had told you my dad had lent me the the more. Yeah. And I was using, I went up, scraped up some chains and got an electric blower, electric, electric weed eater, man. This is where it all started, all right? So when I decided I was wanting to do the lawn and landscaping, my yard ended up being the best yard on the block. And everyone, they started to see that. And then that's when I got the call. Okay, so now we're at, at uh, my property and uh, I'm standing on St. Augustine grass, uh, which has done really, really well with a little bit of tender love and care. Uh, got all the low spots out of it um and just been putting some water on it and she loves it the right amount of shade for it uh my trees need to be pruned um to fast forward a little bit we uh was getting we were getting feedback we were getting calls and i, I started off 
my neighbor to the left of me, hey, uh, I seen your flyer. I need my yard cut. I'm like, boom, done. Uh, let's let's do it. And and then next thing you know, I had five clients that I was taking care of. Yeah. You know, and yeah, man, it just it just trickled on from there. But you know, initially getting started, that's that's how I started it. You know, um, it just took some ambition and it took some uh, that vision, the vision that I had. It paid off and probably for about three to five months we passed out flyers and we just hit we pounded the ground because i didn't have uh access to daniel griggs and atx web designs at the time and so you know i knew i had to get out and, and try to make it on my own um, and i tell you time went by we linked up with daniel and man it's can't, I can't complain about it now. I'll tell you that right now. I appreciate you. Yeah, so it's full. It's full. It's healthy. Um, just applied a, um, a winner. Me, I've always, I don't have to stab anybody in the back. I don't have to undercut anybody. Um, and that's now, you know, with some of my lawn and landscaping colleagues. We share ideas, man. We share ideas. Uh, this. It, let me put some things into perspective. So as many lawns and commercial properties and neighborhood you got to think in one neighborhood it could be 200 houses okay so if you had you can only do so much in in, in one day even with a full crew you can only cut so much in one day so the point of that is i don't have to hate if you will say own the next company and and hold things back if, if they call me if one of my buddies call me uh, let's say greg from evergreen if he calls me, he called me yesterday. The ground was a little saturated. Um, he said, are you cutting today? I said, well, we're going to attempt to. Uh, we already had a day in the hole. Uh, we're we're going to attempt to cut. And so him and I, we do that with each other. Uh, if he's working in Pflugerville and I have to go to Pflugerville, he'll give me a heads up on everything. Hey, it's real wet out here. You're probably not going to be able to do anything and vice versa. And that's just the community uh, that you and I talk about, Daniel. Um, that community is something special, man. And, uh, you know, when I've had that type of outlook on the situation where I don't have to uh, stab anyone in the back or, you know, withhold information, it's just yeah. been flourishing for me. Yeah. I always try to be optimistic about everything. But on, on a real note, um, man, the future's looking bright, man. Uh, making veteran lawn care and landscaping a household name, you know. A, for every property that you see, you know, and we can't get them all, like I stated earlier. We just can't get them all. But providing that good service quality with good customer service, especially after um, our relationship that we have with ATX Web Designs, um, I feel very confident. And really what I look forward to is just creating more relationships. Um, um, being a household name, like I stated earlier, is something that uh, I really look forward to because is legacy, man. Um, I'm fortunate to be able to have four sons, okay? And as you know, being a man in society is tough, okay? And if I could give them something to look forward to and say, hey, you know what, my dad made it. Um, my dad's been there. Uh, he, my dad grew his company from the ground. And, and to this huge corporation and, and almost empire in a sense. That's that's what I've always said. That's my terminology is I want to create a, a lot of landscape and empire. And uh, family, you know, uh, just to be able to provide a, uh, a, a, a better environment for my family. And um, as, as, well, as I stated earlier, there's so many lawn and landscaping companies, okay, I want to stick out. I want to be more than a guy with a, a truck and trailer. But yeah, this is love. This is what I love to do. And um, as I stated earlier, we're going to continue to provide great service and um, and do good things for the community. And um, hopefully, we could be servicing you.